Hey there, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're opening up the Eternatus VMAX Premium Collection. This one is actually pretty big for the most part. Got this from GameStop a super long time ago and pretty much just left this under my desk. And now I am going to open it because I'm actually running out of products to open until I start pre-ordering a lot of the new Evolving Skies stuff or Chilling Rain stuff that I haven't really purchased yet. Kind of like the Calyrex V box that I don't have. I opened up the ETB, but not the other box. So we'll see when those come and arrive. Oh, right. This is the plastic container with everything you see in there. There's two promo cards, a pin up there, a pin down there, and also the jumbo card. So let me pop this open real quick. Usually this is pretty hard, but it looks like it's pretty easy. All right, on to the first card that we have. Let me see if I can pull this out real quick. We have the Eternatus V card right here, 220 HP, power accelerator with Dynamax Cannon, 120 plus damage. Pretty cool. Then we have the VMAX version, which is on this side. All right, there's the VMAX version right there, 340 HP with a 30x for every steel Pokemon in play. Pretty cool. And then finally, we also have the pin. So let me see if I can take this pin out just to show you guys how it looks like. There we go. And here's the pin on the front. It looks pretty cool, right? It looks like Eternatus. And the pin on the back is just a regular Pokeball or Pokemon thing. Not too bad. I'll probably pop that to the slide, to the side because can't really put it into their tray, right? Then we have the jumbo card of the VMAX version. Looks like this. Not bad indeed. And also finally we have a total of six packs. Actually, wait, let me, let me go slow down a little bit. You know, there is the Eternatus V pin right here as well. There's another pin. And then finally we have six packs. So let me just take these all out real quick. And then let me order them for the most part. And then we'll just do a rundown of what packs are in here. But before I get into the packs, let me just give you guys the QR code for this. It's right there. The Eternatus VMAX Premium Collection. If you are interested in the online game. Pop out the plastic. And here we go. We have a Bur Darkness Ablaze pack. A Sword and Shield base set. XY Evolutions. Burning Shadows. Another Darkness Ablaze. And a Rebel Clash. So we'll sort this from worst to best, you know, XY Evolutions go into the back. Then we'll probably put Burning Shadows, second worst, Darkness of Blaze can go in the middle, and then Rebel Clash is first. I don't think I've actually ever met anyone who really likes Rebel Clash. So that's why we're opening that first. All right, first pack, first pack magic, maybe? I don't think so. Not in, a, not in a Rebel Clash pack, even though I do want to open up the Rebel Clash booster box sometime later in the future, whenever it comes back into stock. There's the promo card right there. Forgot to cover up the QR code, so hopefully you guys still are able to get that somehow, some way. But I do think there's a bunch of other Pokemon products that I haven't opened that I would love to get, uh, hopefully in the future. That, and to just open it in the channel just once for the most part. Got a reverse hollow shock shuckle and then a rare greedent. Not too bad. Next one is the base set one. Always looking up for the golden cards in this set. Golden ones are probably my favorite. Uh, hopefully not a suspicious food tin. That's not what we want. And here's the QR code right there. I mean, not the QR code, the promo code. I can, I'm kind of on a roll because I kind of remember like how many uh, cards I need to start shifting now. So that's good. And I kind of also am not hurting as much anymore when I open up these packs or stuff like that. All right, for the reverse holo, we're going to get a Sandaconda. Nice. And a Feeble Rare. No holo hit yet, but we have four more tries. Darkness Ablaze is the next one. No, you never know what happens. Hopefully we do hit something big in here because I think when I bought this box, people were saying that the pack selection weren't actually very good. Uh, Darkness of Blaze right there. Third time's a try. Hopefully a hollow hit this time. Another water energy. Nice. And then there was the Lapras and Snorlax V boxes as well that I wanted to get, but 
I have been unable to get that as well. Centrit. Reverse Hollow Relicant. Nice. Into a Vanillux Rare. Okay. Three more tries. Another Darkness Ablaze. Remember, the chase card for this pack is the Charizard, okay? So if we can get that, that would be super amazing. There is the code once again. Starting off with the Fire Energy. Another Simaseer. Nice. We've got Simapore in the last pack, actually. Rare Fosso, uh, Purloins, Hippopotis, Centrit, Larvesta, Morlo. Nice. The Den. Reverse Hollow. And a Goth Gothy Tell. Rare. All right. Two more packs. Burning Shadows and an XY. So far, not looking very favorable for us. Imagine we just have the worst luck ever and we just never pull. Oops, I didn't mean to drop that. We just never pull any rares. That's how that's how my body knows I'm not gonna pull anything good when I just start dropping the packs while opening them. Alright. Burning shadows, let's see what happens. There's the fist fighting energy. I like to call it a fist energy because it looks like a fist more than a fighting style. Alright, for the reverse hollow, we have a reverse Pikachu. This one looks pretty cool. And a Kingdra Hollow. So we do get a hollow hit. That is not the best hollow, but still a hit regardless. And finally, the last pack, XY Evolutions. This one is definitely three to the front because there was no energy when I did the fourth one. So we'll see how this goes. I like it. I love opening XY Evolutions. It's probably my favorite pack to open because of uh, all the nostalgia that I can get from this. All right, one, two, three. Let's see what we get. Switch, Magmar, the Evolution Spray, Tangela, Tangela, Vulpix, Fire Energy, nice. Voltorb, Charmander, a Reverse Hollow Arcanine, that's pretty cool. And also a Rare Raticate. So technically only one Hollow hit for this entire set. It's not that bad, I guess. Overall, I think this is just a, just an okay box that we just opened. Not the best box. We've definitely opened better ones before. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace, my friends.